And I grew up on a dead-end dirt road in rural Missouri um, in extreme poverty. And I never forgot how hard the people in my community work to overcome such extreme poverty. And so I've taken that with me today. But one of the reasons I wrote the book was I was always stopped by so many women and men who said, how in the world did you go from extreme poverty to prosperity and realize your dream? And so that's what A Dirt Road to Somewhere is all about. It's about my walk in faith and not fear. And we all, you know, get stuck with fear. It's one of those things that can keep you stuck and sitting there because you're afraid. And it wasn't easy because there are some stories that are, you know, I talk about in the book, um, wanting to wait until I got married to have children. Unfortunately, I waited, you know, until I was, you know, in my 40s. And, you know, we tried the usual way and that didn't work. So we, we tried IVF treatments and I, after four miscarriages, it was so tough for me to write that story. But I wanted other women to know because I would be there in the waiting room, waiting sometimes for my results. I'd be sitting next to women who have gone through IVF. I mean, five, seven, eight, nine times. Some people mortgage their houses to have children. And uh, I had left that story out and someone said, you're not going to tell that story? And I said, I can't because I would just cry nonstop whenever I would, you know, think about it. But I knew I had to write it because, uh, you know, I could help possibly help other women. So that's why I wrote the book. And there are also fun stories, too. It's not all, you know, serious. I mean, I was... Um, chased by a seven foot, 500 pound bear. And that sucker actually bit me on the calf. <laughs> but I was sent out to cover a wildlife photographer um, who would take pictures of wild animals in this enclosed electrical fence. And he talked me into getting inside the fence saying that the bear was so gentle and, and I believed him. <laughs> And so, and so when I started the interview with him, I heard this and something clamped down on my calf and I knew it. I knew it was that bear and I just started running for dear life. So in the book, you'll read whether or not I live to tell the story, <laughs> as I like to say.